everyone, this is Rihanna from A Frugal Life and today we're gonna talk about inbox dollars again. So stay tuned, even if you watched my last inbox dollar video, that video was actually almost two years ago and mod uh, inbox dollars has changed since then. So unless you're on inbox dollars all the time, you'll wanna watch this video. If you've never used inbox dollars before and you're kinda wondering what the heck it is and how you can get the most of it, you definitely wanna watch this video. So in this video, I am gonna jump over to my screen share and I'm gonna walk you through how to use inbox dollars they really hype up the surveys on this site. I'm gonna tell you how to make at least $30 or more every single month with just a few minutes on their site without doing a single survey. So I never do the surveys. Um, I've tried them once or twice and their time to take to do them is ridiculous for the amount of payback you get in return. So we want the best return on investment possible, right? The ROI needs to be high for this to be worth it. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step. what I do each day only takes a few minutes and by the end of the month, I usually have $30 or more in credit. I turn that in for Amazon or other gift cards and you can use those at the end of the year for your holiday gifts. That's what my mom did this year or you can just use them for yourself as you get them. So stay tuned, let me walk you through how to use inbox dollars. Okay, let's talk about inbox dollars. So I again, I have done this video before but things changed. So things have changed since the last two years when I did that video before. If you watch that video, go ahead and watch this video too. It's short, it's just gonna give you some information on the best way to use inbox dollars and your time to earn the most return on investment. Um, so this is inbox dollars. This is my screen after I log in. Um, I do have $5.42 right now because inbox dollars changed. And before you had to have at least $30 in order to um, cash out. So now you only have to have $10. So every time I have $10 in here, I cash out right away. So it goes into my, either my bank account, my PayPal account, or I cash it out into a gift certificate depending on what I want to do for the day. So this is what it looks like. This is where it shows you running balance. And then this is what you can do to earn points. So you want to earn as many points as you can, obviously, so you can trade them in for dollars. The nice thing about inbox dollars is Unlike my points or swag bucks that give you points, you have to kind of convert it in your head. Feels like you're earning a lot because it shows you a whole bunch of points and you're trading in for a little bit of cash. Inbox dollars just does it in money. So if you earn one cent, it's telling you that you're earning one cent. So you can tell if you spend 20 minutes on a survey and you earned 10, minute, 10 cents for 20 minutes, totally not worth it. But there are things you can do here which are worth it. So the first thing I do when I come in here is I click on learn and earn. So win it is one that you can put a code in for. I've never actually had a code for it, so I haven't looked into that. I go with these other options here. So learn and earn will move the swag bar. You wanna move the swag bar and scratch it off to win. That's how you get sent. So the first thing you wanna do is answer this question. It takes a second, click on it, and your swag bar moves. Ooh. So don't ever click on it when it's one or two. You want it when it's three. So if you click on one or two, you're wasting swag bar movements. When you click on three, you get the most cents. And it feels crazy because you're getting like one to two to five cents at a time. But really, when you look at it, if you're not me and talking a whole bunch, you can actually rack it up really fast in only a couple minutes a day. So I did that one. And then I'm going to ignore the survey. I also typically ignore these on the bottom. I look for these later because these will try to get you to do things that you have to pay money for. So ignore that part and come up here to offers. So I ignore all of these on the right hand side and click on 100% free offers. So we only want to do things that take a little bit amount of time and earn something. So I get a quote with Savvy Insurance. I've done that before. You will get $10, but they are giving you an insurance quote. So I would only do it if you actually want an insurance quote because they will check your credit for that. Um, Save on GoodRx. GoodRx is actually an amazing way to save on your prescriptions. If you want to look into that, you can. You actually do earn something um, when you sign up for it um, on Inbox Dollars. So if you're going to do it anyways, go ahead. So most of what I do here is I come in and look for the small ones because the big ones, even though say 100% offer, are probably things I have to sign up for and make a huge commitment to or to download or things like that. So if I come in here, Earn two cents personal injury and search attorney. Click on it. Click on view offer. Wait for it to load and it will automatically earn two cents. So if I come back in here, it's not going to move the swag bar because that two cents is already going to be added here. So in a few minutes, I'll get an email in my email that's associated with this to say you've earned your two cents. So I just click back and then I'll come through and do that with all. 
So a lot of these I've already done, so I'm not going to show them to you, but you can always look through the 100% free offers, see if there's anything that you're willing to do. Um, they usually don't take very much time, and you um, add to your inbox dollars amount. So surveys, of course, we're going to skip. Surveys, this is a whole reason for this video is that we don't want to do surveys. They take too much time, and they're not worth it on the investment. The next thing we're going to do is videos. So we're definitely going to do videos because that's where you make your money. So I do this on my phone because I can just have my phone over here on the right-hand side while I'm working or while I'm doing schoolwork or while I'm editing videos and play the videos. I'm going to show you how to do it on your desktop, um, but I don't recommend doing it on your desktop. I recommend doing it on your phone so you don't have to tie up your desktop. If you're doing something else and you want to do it on your desktop and you have your TV over here or something, you can do that, or you can actually watch the videos over and over again and earn the cash. So this is the videos. It says earn one cent. I'm going to click on 2020 election news and discover content. And you can see it says when you view these three pages, you will earn one cent. So you actually do have to go through and click discover content and then watch this video. Um, and if you come back here, you will see a countdown. So that countdown timer is also showing at my, on my tab. You can't see it on my screen share, but it's showing 21 seconds. So you have to view each screen for 30 seconds. So it counts it for you. You just can't see it on my screen share, but it's counting me for, for me. When I'm done with this 30 seconds, I'll be able to come back here and click on continue, and it'll take me to the next video. So I have to do three of those. So it's about a minute and 30 seconds to earn one cent, but you can do other things while you're doing this. So that's why I keep it on my phone, because I just press continue, continue, continue while I'm doing other things. This is also great for kids if you're trying to keep them occupied in the car or something else. They can be earning the cents while watching the videos. You just have to teach them to press continue on the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. We're not going to watch that right now because we're going to go on to the next thing. So there is an opportunity here to get lots of percent or lots of cash back when you shop. Now, I don't totally recommend this because you get more on Rakuten. So I will put the link down below to Rakuten. I put it in all my um, links because that is the best way to get cash back. If you're not using Rakuten, you can go ahead and come in here and shop through these and get the cash back here. But I feel like Rakuten gives you more for your cash back. So go ahead and use Rakuten if you can for that. Magic receipts, you can actually uh, upload your receipts similar to the way that you do um, with Flex Rewards. So if you do this on your phone, you can upload receipts. Um, for instance, if you purchase something that's on the list and you upload your receipts, you're going to earn the amount back. So if I purchased Jello and uploaded my Safeway receipt for it, I would get 20 cents back in my inbox dollars. So this is an awesome way because you can still scan your receipt here and also scan it on Fetch. So I will put the link down below to Fetch. I do have a video on Fetch that I will put in the um, corner up here or up here. One of these corners up here, I will put the video on how to earn for Fetch. But you can double your receipts so you can actually scan them here and end on Fetch and earn cash back in both locations. Uh, this next one is one of my favorite new ones that just popped up is coupons. So if you're going to download printable coupons anyways, do it through inbox dollars. So you will not only get one cent for every coupon you print. So if I come in here and print all these coupons, I will get one cent on my inbox dollars. But you get 10 cents per coupon redeemed. I think that's crazy. So why would I print it from coupons.com directly? If I print it from here, I'm going to get a dollar um, for the Kellogg's Special K if I actually use the coupon. Plus, I'm going to get another 10 cents in my inbox dollars and another one cent. So it's essentially adding 11 cents to every coupon you use. So this is the number one way I've been using it lately. It makes a great deal of sense to just download your coupons and print them here if you're doing coupons anyway. Um, so the next one is the way you can get your kids to help you out. Um, so all of these move the bar. So if you play the Mahjong or the Solitaire or anything, you play it on your phone, on the Inbox Dollars app when you're waiting in line at the grocery store or the doctors, and it moves your bar. So while you play Candy Jam, which is similar to Candy Crush, on your phone, um, <laughs> in the toilet or wherever you usually play your phone um, games, you play them in Vex Dollars instead of just directly. And it will move your bar and earn you money. So why not earn cash while you're playing your games? If you're standing in line anywhere somewhere, these are fun games. Candy Jam is the one that I recommend. It's just like Candy Crush, which is one of the most popular phone games out there. 
Um, and this is what you can give to your kids while they're sitting um, waiting for something in line or waiting in the car with you. They can play the games and run up your bar on your Inbox Dollars app. So make sure to do the phone app for this one. You can play them on your desktop if you want to, um, but the phone app is easy because you can do it while you're waiting in line. Next is this search bar. Um, so searching um, will earn you points as well. So let's search for my blog, A Frugal Life. Click on it, it actually came up here. If I click on it, it'll open up in another tab and it'll move the bar. So if you hit specific things, you get scratch and win, you get weekly things, just use this as your search bar um, and you'll bring up the things you normally would look for anyways and it will move your bar so you get cash back. Um, and then of course, refer friends. So I have referred some friends. I'm not gonna scroll down here because I don't wanna give you their personal information, but as you refer friends, it actually lets you earn on what they earn. So I've earned over $182 just from my friend referrals, and that was only for three friend referrals. Um, so you will not only get um, an initial referral fee, but you also get 30% of their lifetime earnings. So every time they are not in box dollars, you are not an inbox dollar. So sometimes if I don't have time to sit here on the app, I will just not do anything for a few weeks and people are earning for me. Um, so it's great to refer your friends. Um, they just have to sign up with your link and then you're earning while they earn. And then if we click more, we're gonna get back to the main dashboard. Um, a couple other things here, if you click on the inbox, you always wanna check this one. So they will come to your actual email, um, but I just check them here. So every time I come in, in the morning, I come in and check these. I click on each one, so world winner, confirm. And then I back up to the next one. Hello Fresh, come down, confirm. And you will see as I'm confirming each one, the bar is moving. So I just wait until it moves all the way over to the end, and then I'll scratch it off. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you actually scratch it off. So we'll have to do a few more of these here. You don't have to wait for each one to load. You can just click on them and come back and then close those tabs later. So it's gonna come over. I think I'll have enough this time to scratch it off. And there we go. So it's made to the end. This is where we're gonna scratch it off. Scratch. And now I've earned another five cents and that took me a few seconds. to do it took me longer because I was talking. And then click continue and that will add to my list. You can also click on daily list. It will take you through things that you can do each day. The answer and earn we did, the daily activity we did. When you get to a certain amount, you get another bonus. So five cents, 10 cents. I just skip the survey ones and do the initial ones here. And that reminds me what to do each day. So $5.44 in a couple of weeks, I shall have enough to cash out again. And if I come in here and do it without talking to you, it takes me less than two minutes a day to just rack up the points or the dollars. So that was it. Easy, right? Another easy thing to do for free to make some money. So if you like this video and wanna see more videos like this, please hit subscribe and the notification bell. And please comment down below if you have any questions. And I will talk to you soon.